All right, so today for your virtual assignment, you've already multiplied fractions. So I'm going to show you a couple different ones because it's a riddle worksheet that I posted online. Uh, you do see some variables, but so I'm going to review a couple things, uh, show you some canceling. I know I started with canceling last week, and then you'll see those variables that may cause some issues if you weren't able to see these um, before you started that worksheet today. So here's an example, negative 24 times 3 eighths. It's going to be negative, right? So negative 24 over 1. Now, like I said, I love the canceling. Now, could you multiply straight across? Sure. You could do negative 24 times 3 and get negative 72 over 8, which you may know. Uh, but I'm going to show you from the beginning how we can simplify. So I know that 8 goes into 8 and 24. It goes into 8 once. It goes into 24 three times. So instead of dealing with negative 72 over 8, I deal with negative 9 over 1 which is just negative 9. Okay, so there's your first one. That was just multiplying a whole number by a fraction. Number two, let's just go here, see if we can squeeze as much here on one page. Number two, uh, you do see some fractions raised to an exponent. So we have like negative 5 ninths raised to the second power. Well, there's a couple different ways you could think of this one. You could think of this as taking the numerator to the second power. You could take 5 squared, 25, 9 squared, 81. So it's kind of like that, going back to a little bit like exponent rules, I'm just going to show it as negative 5 ninths times negative 5 ninths, because that's what the exponent does. It tells that five, negative 5 ninths to multiply by itself twice. And two negatives make a positive, and 5 squared, or 5 times 5 is 25. 9 times 9 is 81. 25 over 81. Okay. There's your second one. Third one, we only got five to do, so it's going to be a quick one today. Um, this one, we're going to have a variable, 5x over 3 times 4. Okay, so let's just make it 4 over 1. I look to cancel still. Nothing I can cancel. Nothing goes into 3 and 4 other than 1. Nothing goes into 5x and 1 other than 1. So we just multiply straight across, and we just make that 5x times 4, something you should know, is 20x. And that is 20x over 3, and we actually leave it like this. We don't make that 6 and 2 thirds x. So we're good with 20x over 3. Okay. Fourth one, getting a little more complicated here. I'm going to have a negative 15x over 7 times now 3 over 5x. All right. And we're going to multiply these. Now, could we multiply straight across? Sure. We can multiply straight across and we get what? Negative 45x over 35x. And let's just show that. Okay, let's just show it a couple ways, actually. Let's do it this way. So we have negative 45x. That's just multiplying straight across. I'm not going to cancel anything here. Over 35x. Okay, but we can keep going from here. One, the x's just cancel, right? Because that's just x over x. And 5 goes into both of those, so this becomes negative 9 sevenths. Okay, which is your final answer. Now, let's go back to the original problem. And let's just say, what if we were to cancel? Okay. Well, if we were to cancel this, well, 7 and 3 I still can't do anything with. But just like I canceled the x's here, I can cancel them here before I multiply. We can cross-cancel those x's. And 5 goes into 5 once, so this just becomes 1. And 5 goes into negative 15, negative 3 times. Okay. Notice, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. 7 times 1 is 7. So either way, I really don't care what method you use. I love cancel. Excuse me, I love canceling, but hey, if you want to multiply straight across and then kind of use simplifying fractions, which we did, that was practice 4-4, four, four, if you remember that one. Okay, last one I'm going to do. Let's have 3 over 10x cubed times negative 15x squared over 8. Now this looks like a very complicated problem, and it kind of is. So first, if you're not a canceling person, right, if you just want to multiply straight across, we can, right? So we can take 3 times negative 15 and make that negative 45x squared over 10 times 8 is 80x cubed, okay? Now, back to practice 4-4, four, four, if you remember that. So negative 45 and 80, what is that? 5 goes into both of those, so that is negative 9 over, is that 16? So that's negative 9 sixteenths. And then I have 2x's on top, 3x's on the bottom. 
I have an extra X on the bottom. Okay, there's your final answer. Now, could you have canceled? Sure. I could have canceled here. 5 goes into 10 twice. 5 goes into 15. We'll, we'll put a negative 3 there. 2x is here, 2, 3x is here. I can cancel all those out. I can cancel these just to an x. All right, so I take out those 2x's from the 3x's. I'm left with an x. These 2x's just cancel, and you are done. Okay, and that's what you're going to see today on the Riddle worksheet. You can either put your answers on a separate sheet of paper, or you can print the worksheet and just write the answers there. Um, and, the, and the thing is, is if you can do this, you can divide. Okay, because dividing is just leave, change, flip. So we go right, right back to problems like this. So even with variables, if it's a division problem, well, leave, change, flip, and then you're right back to here. All right? All right, so hope you have a good day today. Get that done. You guys will turn it in next class. We got a test at the end of the week. All right, bye.